So now we're going to take a look at some of my sketches um, regarding some of the elements. The, the sketch I don't have that I'm, I'm looking forward to doing, and you're probably very curious, is I don't have the idol yet. So, you know, um, it's, it's actually shifting a little bit in my mind, so I won't talk about it more here, but let's move on to these. So I was thinking about this for the altar, and it's not quite right, and, um, but before I tell you what's not right, I'll tell you what I want to do. So first, I want um, Mark and Gork, well, you know, who's who and what's what um, with those guys, doesn't really matter. I want them present, um, maybe pinned up on the altar instead of leaning against it. Um, uh, maybe a couple shields. I like the shield. Um, there's a shield that has a spider web on it somewhere in the kits. Um, something like that. Um, a weapon or two um, leaning up against it maybe. And then um, I thought, you know, some kind of like bone pile holding up a skull. Maybe a few candles unless that seems wrong uh, to me when you worship, right? Especially if you're not, you know, everybody wants candles when they worship. That's my thinking. Um, again, one of those totems, you know, modified. Um, the pot I showed you from the uh, Thunder Tusk kit. Um, I don't know about doing steam. I'm going to have to think about that. I would like to have the impression that some steam is coming off. I envision this as filled with uh, uh, dung or awful offal, I think, and, um, and then steaming like it's being cooked or something. I don't know. Um, I want some skulls on the table, but it occurred to me that the two things I want to change about this is one, I really wanted this to be Thicker. I want this to feel like a big heavy slab and that means I'm going to have to do some sculpting for that and then tie in some of the wood texture maybe you know some kind of uh, lay it over and then blend it in or I don't know I'll give that some more thought but um, I really wanted this to be heavier feeling than it is and I want it to be wood everything is going to be wood because it's it, this army is on the move. They don't have time to carve stones, so they're building a temporary altar. Then I want that um, bone uh, skull from the giant kit, and it just occurred to me uh, today that I could use it for this, and I want to flip it upside down and hollow it out and then use it as a brazier and then have like, oh, I don't know, all sorts of of plants and herbs and things like that that are being cooked down as part of part of the ceremony, um, that sort of idea. Here is my uh, draft of the orc boss hut, and uh, this took me quite a while actually, and I feel pretty proud about it actually. I think it came out pretty well. Oh, I have reference photos to show about this, and I'm not going to because I'm already going to go way too long with this video. Oh, all right, I'm going to show you. Give me a second. All right, I can't help myself. I want to show you the reference photos. So um, this is, um, I just went online. Again, I found some uh, gaming imagery, some other images, whatever I could find. And what I liked about this, um, well, first of all, was primarily this top. I really like that, how to seal the top and these sort of, um, oh, these are wood. Oh, at first I thought they were bone. Oh, I like it, wood, okay. So um, anyway, well, maybe bone would look cool too, actually, like those big curved um, tusks, like I was saying before that I want. Those would be easy to sculpt in. I don't know, I think bone might be better. Um, and, um, you know, here, right, we have these large horns. I like that, but I don't have quite anything that fits that. But this was my big focus um, for this image. And I found these, eh, but I don't know, I stuck them in there anyway. Um, too cartoony, I will not be doing this kind of a color scheme anyway. Um, I picked these out as well, but let's keep going. Oh, so um, this I was thinking about for the front of the um, hut. Now, it won't be quite like this um, because actually I have much more grand ideas on how to do the front of the hut, which I have not drawn up yet, so you won't see my ideas just yet. Um, but um, a couple things. Um, first of all, look at all the bones. I, I, I need lots of bones. Um, and the new skeleton kits from GW, 
just are they're, they're all decked out with all sorts of stuff all over them and you can't use them. So I might go back and see if I can find some old. Oh, wait, I have some old GW skeletons. Oh, I have a handful of them. All right, so maybe I've got a good supply of bones. All right, I gotta, I gotta take a look in there. Um, you never have, you can never have too many skulls, and I, for GW, right? And um, actually, I have a handful of skulls as well, so I'm kind of covered on human skulls, but always looking for other kinds. And wait a minute, I've got a bigger picture. Um, oh, wait, wait, real quick. This to me looks so much better than some of the multicolored paint schemes that you see for um, the skin patchwork for the orcs. Now, it's a little too uniform. I think a couple different shades of, of tan hide would be better, but um, this is a much closer look to the kinds of, of, of color themes that I'm looking for uh, to put on the hut. And again, look at those nice big tusks. There's so much you can do with those. Um, and. Uh, that's not hard to sculpt. <laughs> so I'll be doing those. One thing I didn't show in the drawing are lots of um, stakes, you know, st sticking up out of the ground. I like these. I will be incorporating something like this around the hut. And I wanted to look at this one. And there's a few things going on here. First of all, look at that. How awesome is that? I love that. Um, so uh, I don't want to sculpt that. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I do one big one. I got a lot going on in this project and I'm really trying to balance my time because I want to make so many different things look great. If I spend 15 hours on this, that's, that's not great. So um, anyway, <laughs> if you know of any skulls that look like this, let me know. Um, but look at all the assortment of bits around this. And that is a kind of theme I really like um, that I'm going to go for towards the uh, front of the hut. Uh, this is far too many spikes, but I like the idea. Um, you know, banners, whatnot. But here's the key thing. First of all, of course, right, we have the, um, again, they're more uniform in color. Um, and this will be on the roof. I really fell in love with this walkway. Um, and so I'm going to go back to that when I show you the, the drawing. I like this. This is interesting. I got to keep my, my eye on that. Hmm. And this walls, how to do the walls. I have an idea, and actually I was thinking about some cross braces. And so I think at this point it's um, time, because I don't think there are any more. Um, oh, well actually this one, um, sort of that tarp roof idea gave me some thought. And here, um, this is um, mud, right, for the sides. So with that in mind, let's go back to the picture. Okay, so back to my drawing. So my thinking is to have this be um, uh, rammed earth, right? They've packed earth into this and then have it supported by timbers. And so these would be things that would come from the Goblin Town um, uh, walkway set, but also if I could get um, the Witch Fate Tor uh, planking it would add some variety. Um, the Skull Vein Mance walkway, right? So I'd like to have a variety of timbers all kind of hacked together in an orky fashion. And I will need some, I'll put in some support uh, beams to kind of help hold that all together and make it look a little bit um, right. And then here would be the entrance from the sort of second story of the tent, right? And then the walkway coming out. And then this will be the cliff line. And I want the orc boss to be able to walk out onto this and oversee all of his troops, you know, getting ready for battle. I thought that's just such a nice element. So create a little overhanging tarp, um, a couple posts um, to hold some more icons. I'd like to hang some heads and skulls off of this and, and then, I don't know, maybe add some of those pointy bits. Some, mm, I, would like, I would like more horn-like things wrap down to it, uh, you know, tied on. Hmm. All right. So there's still a little bit more, but a couple things more. These are shields um, holding this down. And if you noticed in the other picture, right, there were the, they were sort of tied down by weights. And I like that image. So that is something I want to incorporate. And that's why I'm going to need a lot of shields, because um, I want to sort of um, have a nice variety and break it up. Um, and you know, actually, I don't know. all right, I'm getting too far here. 
this I'll have to sculpt. Um, it'll be a big sheet of green stuff. I'll build the framework and then I'll lay it over that before it hardens. Um, and then, um, you know, I have to give it a little, a little illusion of weight. So I'm gonna have to press it in a little bit and I, I'd like to incorporate the weight of the shields as well into that. So that'll all come down the road, but that's the, the method of madness that I wanna undertake to create this piece. And lastly, <clears throat> the elevator. So I don't know where this idea came from. It just struck me as something cool and I definitely wanna do it. So the elevator will be comprised of um, the scribe, uh, you know, support system, and it's a fairly thin support in the model. So I figure I'm going to need two, which actually works better for holding up the uh, lift, if you will. Um, it'll have a block and tackle uh, system. Um, it won't be functional, of course, um, but uh, that will be what will be designed. And then that line is going to come down for each side to a winch and the winch will incorporate um, maybe two handles I only put in one here so that I could have two snotlings turning it and then because they're not very strong and this is pretty heavy right I thought I'll have another bundle on the winch that snotlings can pull on the rope to help you know a little bit terrible mechanical advantage but hey they're snotlings they're not that bright and then, um, so they're all, you know, working to lift this lift up. And the lift um, I would like to make from the um, Goblin uh, Town planks, right? So we're all tying that theme in. And because the boss won't be on it, right? This is really for the boss to get him up to his hut. Um, but I do want to show it in action. So this will have some goods and, and other things on it that they're lifting up to the boss so he can party on. Now, up here I realized that this is going to need to be about two inches tall. Mm, well, that doesn't have to be quite two, I guess, because it's open. I thought it was going to have a top, um, but now I've designed it to be open. Uh, so maybe not quite, but made me think that getting it up to the top without this hitting here, right, I need to put these up on some platforms. So there's going to be some kind of a platform for them to rest on. That's what these are for, these are for and that's going to give it the, the total headroom to be able to get this bottom up flush with the top of the cliff. This is pretty much in scale, except for these, because I'm not entirely sure how tall they are. I think they're two inches tall from the pictures. Mm. Eh, we're probably plus or minus a half inch on that. But I'm going to need bigger counterweights um, because this is, you know, kind of heavy. And I like the idea of keeping the counterweights rather than, you know, fixing this into the base because it, it makes it look a little more dynamic. You know, maybe these are shock absorbers, right? Uh, you know, these guys are not moving this up smoothly. And so this kind of helps absorb some of that. Um, anyway, I like it. I want to keep it but they need to be bigger and that's why i said here maybe the giant stone wheel maybe lobber counterweights maybe i'll sculpt something for it myself um, but those are the kinds of elements that i'm looking for for it so that's the elevator that's my thinking um, and it, one thing i'll need to consider is i might need to adjust the footprint of the cliff oh wait wait I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm not going to talk about the next section. Oh, sorry. So keep this in mind as we talk about the board in the next section.